Hello, everybody. Thank you so much for joining us. I'm Jill from Zero Waste Leads and also now Give Leads. So Give Leads came originally just from a statistic. So we know that um, in the UK, every single year, we waste about £42 million on Christmas gifts that nobody wants, which equates to about £500,000 in leads. Now, we hate waste, but we thought if we're telling people that, what could we offer them as an alternative? And at the same time, we were working with community groups across Leeds who have really risen to the challenge of the pandemic and are doing amazing things in our communities. And the thing is, people don't know enough about them. So we try to tell those stories um, and match them up with people who can help because fundraising this year has been really difficult. Lots of events have had to be cancelled. So our call to action really is, can you help these organisations either through donations of money or time or gifts for Christmas in some cases, uh, your skills, um, instead of wasting money on Christmas presents nobody wants. And I'm so delighted to be uh, joined today by Alan Lane from Slung Low. And what's really amazing about you is how you have completely changed what you do during the pandemic. So tell us a little bit about what you usually do and what you've been doing. Well, usually we're a theatre company, so we make uh, theatre uh, large scale shows all over the country outdoors. And we also run the Holbeck, which is the oldest working men's club in Britain. And we run it as a theatre and a community and a social space. So that's what we did before COVID. But obviously uh, running a pub, running a theatre company and, and running a community space is bad news during COVID. But what we did really need is we needed a hub for all the volunteers uh, to be able to help in this area, especially around food. So we've become a non-means tested food bank which means that we deliver 300 family family packs boxes of food every single week um driven by our amazing volunteers who turn up every day to deliver that food and just explain what that means so non-means tested so that's because it, other food banks you need a referral or you ask questions about your um yeah. your financial position or whatever before you can access the food bank and, and yours is absolutely not like that yeah, ours is non-means tested and self-referring. So that means if you turn up here and say, I need food, we ask you your address and that's it. You don't have to demonstrate your poverty or your pain to us. And that's really important. It's really important because um, if whatever you situation you're in is made better by me giving you a 500 gram bag of pasta, then why would I not want to do that? We're, we're theatre makers here. We're, we're really motivated. We're really disciplined, but we don't have any. I can't tell whether that person requires that or not. It just, it, I wouldn't put myself in that position above anybody. Um, and so we said that anybody who needed food would get it. And what we find is of the 300 a week, of course, there's, there's probably 10 or 12 who are like, hey, 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 I got away with this. So you've got a free bag of pasta. Well, good luck to you, mate. That's fine. We we got it from the real junk food. Real junk food saved it from going into to landfill. Like it's all good. But the 290, the 285 families every week who are just like, thank you. This just took a little bit of pressure, a little bit of terror out of the day of trying to work out how I was going to feed the kids tomorrow morning. You've done that for me. So now I can get on with making better choices. And I mean, I was brought up in a working men's club and I know how meaningful working men's clubs are to the communities that they work in. So was that an easy pivot for you then because you could see how your community was struggling? Absolutely. I think the values of Slung Low and the values of the Holbeck are, I mean, it literally says in the, in the, in the Holbeck's original constitution to provide support to, to, their, to their community. Like that's our job. It, our job isn't to sell beer. The beer is just one of the ways that we keep the thing afloat financially and Slunglow's job isn't necessarily to make theatre it's to make sure that Holbeck has the best cultural life it possibly can have and it doesn't matter what shows we put on here it doesn't matter that they're all free if you're too hungry to leave the house you're not coming to enjoy what we've got for you so it struck us with Covid and partly because the world changed and there was just a little bit of space all of a sudden you could a lot of the world shut down so the people who hadn't shut down could fill the gap and we were like we could do this it could be useful and we're really, I mean, the Real Junk Food Project is, 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 our, is our, main, our main friend in this. They're, they've been vital. Um, and we have just cleared 8,000 referrals. That's 8,000 boxes of food. Um, and each box is eight bags. So it's like 64,000 bags of food in nine months. So we're feeling and pretty good about that. I mean, it's amazing. We did an interview with um, Adam from Junk Food and their story is amazing. And this is all food that is perfectly edible, but would have gone to waste. And, and you're using it to feed people who really need it. Are they, are they all in and around your community there in South Leeds? 
Um, we, that's our focus, but we take anybody can ring us. So we have referrals every day in LS12, 27, 10, 9, 8, 6. Um, uh, we were, yeah, there isn't a part of the city we haven't delivered to at some point. Um, but yeah, most of them are in the LS11. And, and are you, have you got an army of volunteers? How did you how did you put that call out and who responded? Well, so Voluntary Action Leads are also a brilliant partner with us and they, they, they gather together loads of volunteers for us. But we tend to find people volunteer for about two months and then after two months you need to have a break because it, it does it's you know it's not easy it's not easy doing this and so they take so we've got through army after army and we just put a call out there's an awful lot of the art scene in the city that's been made redundant or unemployed and they've really pitched up they've obviously uh, seen a fellow theater company trying to hold the hold the line and they've they've rushed into supporters and um and and people who live locally i could tell you that the volunteers are the very best of us here they are extraordinary um and they do it. They do it day in, day out. I mean, yeah. today we we just shifted seventy two, I think, parcels, and they they were done by eleven thirty. I was like, that's um, yeah, really top notch. It is incredible, and I think you you know people. There's a lot to be proud of of, of our community organisations and the volunteers in Leeds, and that's why these stories are so important. I think. So you were just telling me that in the last three days you've um, delivered as much food as you did last week in five days so the demand is yeah. clearly there and, and gifts yeah. too yeah so we did we just teamed up with we're all elves aren't we who are a football fan leeds united football fans um and they raised money to buy 300 children presents and so ingram road primary who's our partner and kids club who's a brilliant a brilliant leeds charity um gave us the names of 300 children so we've i think we're on like 260 if we've got two days to get the last 40 done so that'll be fine and then uh, alongside that our system isn't sophisticated enough to be able to send toys and food to the same area we have to run to, otherwise it all falls apart. So yeah, so uh, this week we'll do about 320 food parcels, I think, before the end of Friday. It's incredible and, and you must be overwhelmed with the demand. So if how can people who are watching this, how can they help you? Uh, there's two there's two principal ways that can help um we we're good until the end of the week. So we, we know we're going to ride till Christmas and then when we come back from the Christmas break, uh, we're going to only do Wednesday. So we're going to do the entire week's operation on Wednesdays because that allows the rest of the company to get back to work because at some point running a food bank is the quickest way to lose money and we have to start earning it at the other end. So if you can free up your time on a Wednesday and you turn up to the club, which is the Holbeck in Holbeck, um, you, we need drivers, we need packers, we need people to sort food, we need people to squash cardboard. We're it, doing 300 in a day is going to be an extraordinary challenge and we're going to need all hands to the pump. And if for whatever reason you can't leave the house or you can't come down here on a Wednesday, then we always need food and we always need money because with money we buy food and, and the things that people don't want to think about like toilet roll and sanitary products and all that stuff. So if you, yeah, yeah. And if you go to our website, songlo.org, there's buttons that make it really easy for you to be able to give money. You can give food, you can send it direct to the club and we'll take care of it. Or any Wednesday in the new year, come on down, lend a hand. Um, they're a lovely bunch of volunteers and nearly every day somebody bakes a cake so there's always yeah. cake <laughs> oh there's not much wrong with the world when there's cake is there it is it is incredible no. isn't it the, the the people who are um who will give their support it is it's, it, it is just heartwarming i know that you're working so hard and, and so your call out is to is for people to help you going forward in um on wednesdays in the new year Donations of money gratefully accepted. They can do that through Give Leads or your website and, and donations of food. Thank you so much for giving us an insight into what you do, Alan. Uh, I know you're so busy and um, I wish you luck for the rest of the time up to Christmas and, and I hope you have a restful Christmas. Thank you. Thank you. Merry Christmas. <laughs>